Hello! Welcome back to Love Your Vibe. I'm Felicia Jean, work at home wife and mom, um, and sexual health educator since 2006. Today we are talking about lubricants. Woo! <laughs> lubricants are a super important part of anyone's intimate health. Um, anytime you are inserting anything, whether it is a finger, a penis, a toy, hopefully your list stops there, whatever it is you're inserting, you should be using a good lubricant. Lubricants actually help to decrease friction and increase sensitivity, so things will feel better um, when they are wetter, right? Um, there are different types of lubricants. There are water-based lubricants, silicone lubricants, there are more emollient creamy lubricants, there are warming lubricants and cooling lubricants, so many different types of lubrication. Um, but a lubricant can definitely help um, to make things more slippery and to make things more comfortable. Now another reason that you would want to use a good lubricant um, is because fingers, penises, toys, and condoms are all porous. And because they are porous, they absorb moisture. So if you've ever been in a situation where you thought you got enough foreplay and you thought you'd produced enough of your natural lubrication and then halfway through the play you were squeaking and you're like, what is happening? I'm still in the mood. Why is she not listening? This is why that happens because um, it's literally soaking up the moisture from your vagina. Rude, right? Make sure that you always have a good lubricant. If you continue penetration without a good lubrication, you can actually cause tiny little tears. Um, those tears can trap bacteria, lead to infection, it can cause a buildup of scar tissue, which can make things uncomfortable, or you could lose sensation. So always, always, always make sure that you have a really good lubricant handy um, so that things are nice and slippery and comfortable. If you do end up continuing penetration without lubrication, if it is just so good and you can't stop to grab the bottle of lube, I understand. Um, but make sure that you keep a good eye on it. Make sure that if it continues um, to feel uncomfortable or you have burning sensation for a couple of days afterwards that you do visit a doctor um, to make sure that it's not something more serious. A couple of things you need to know about lubricants. Water-based lubricants are safe to use across the board. Um, Pure Romance actually sells an amazing water-based lubricant that's also pH balanced, which is wonderful for um, women who are sensitive or prone to yeast or bacterial infections. Um, water-based lubricants can be used across the board, but they are also wonderful for alleviating dryness. So women can have vaginal dryness at any time throughout their lives. Um, if you've ever used a tampon, if you've had a hysterectomy, if you've had children, if you have high stress levels, if you take antihistamines to dry up your sinuses, um, all of these things can actually cause a level of dryness. If you had too much to drink and the next day you have cotton mouth and cotton south, a water-based lubricant will help you to replenish moisture to the vaginal tissue. It's just like putting lotion on your skin. Um, it's hydrating the vagina. Um, a silicone lubricant is a little bit more long-lasting. Silicone molecules are too large to absorb into the skin, so they actually feel a little bit softer, a little bit silkier, um, and they're more long-lasting. A silicone lubricant is also a great lubricant to use for anal play because the anus does not self-lubricate. So you wanna make sure that you are using something that is going to stay there that's not gonna absorb super quickly. Now, if you are using an oil-based lubricant, um, you wanna make sure that you do not use that with a latex barrier birth control. Um, if you use an oil-based lubricant with a latex barrier birth control, like a latex condom, um, it can actually rub a hole in that condom. If you want to use a warming lubricant, make sure that it is a safe to use warming lubricant. Um, some lubricants on the market actually have an ingredient found in chili peppers in them. Um, it is called capsaicin, it is not friendly for um, the vagina, it's not friendly um, for the anus, it can cause irritation, pain, swelling, ER visits, so be really careful if you are using a heated lubricant. Um, Pure Romance does sell a warming lubricant that heats up with glycerin, so when you rub on it, it gets warm, when you blow on it, it gets really hot, um, but when you stop the play, um, it stops the heat, and that is so nice to have a controllable heated lubricant. Anytime you use a toy, you also wanna make sure that you're using a good lubricant. Um, if you are using a silicone toy, um, you do not wanna use a high concentration silicone lubricant. Silicone lubricants and silicone toys will um, react and um, it could potentially melt the toy or it could make it um, not they're not friendly, they're not compatible. Um, anytime you are sliding a toy on the penis, you also wanna make sure that you use something very thick, very creamy, a nice emollient lubricant. Um, if you use something water-based, um, it could actually absorb into the penis. So remember how we talked about the penis as a sponge. If you're using a water-based lubricant that can replenish moisture, um, if you're using something on the penis, then it could absorb. Um, if it's not a re-wetting lubricant, then the lubricant would be gone. And you might hear something like Right? That's screaming. So make sure I'm a nice, creamy, emollient, long-lasting lubricant anytime you're sliding anything on the penis. 
I hope that this video about lubricants was interesting for you. Um, I hope that you learned something. Comment below if you did learn something new or interesting, and also comment below your favorite lubricant. Um, uh, don't forget to get out there, try some new lubricants, see what you enjoy the most. Um, don't forget to love your vibe, and I hope that you have an absolutely beautiful day.